Hey! So last week we left off uh, where I was heading to Atlantic City uh, in order to give a workshop. And I'd never been there before. It was a really, really cool place. Lots of bright lights and screens and bells and whistles. Uh, it was not a great place to take kids because they were trying to play everything. It's like, oh no, these are not for you. These are for adults. But anyway, I went there for a workshop for, at the Whopper Summit. I gave a workshop on reverse engineering web applications. Soldered a badge, which was awesome. My kids learned to solder from BSI Lab, which was also super awesome and really, really cute. I uh, got a Wemos Mini, uh, which I'm excited to play with. And overall, it was a really awesome experience. Highly recommend you checking it out next year. I'll leave a link down below and a link to BSI Lab, who you should definitely follow as well because she is just an awesome person. Anyway, let's do this node thing. This week we're gonna talk about NPX, which is a tool that I've seen growing in popularity over the course of the past several months, but I'm also coming across a lot of people who don't know exactly what it is and what it's doing. Um, so, NPX is a tool that just makes it easy to run any sort of node-based executable that you would normally install via NPM. Now, why would you need something like that? Well, there's a bunch of different ways. You, well, there's a few different ways that you can install node executables. You can install them locally uh, as your local dependencies for a project end up sitting in node modules or something, node modules or something like that. Uh, NPX will find it there. Uh, if you don't have it installed locally, then it will look for a globally installed package and run it from there. If it has neither of that, then it'll download its dependencies, the, the what you're trying to run's dependencies. It'll install them and then run your executable from a local NPX cache. So it's a great way to just run something that you need to run. It's a very useful tool when you want to experiment with a bunch of different packages on NPM and you don't know exactly which one is going to be suitable for your needs. So rather than installing everything globally or setting up a project and installing it locally or doing whatever, you just use NPX and it will run your command. Um, it respects input and output appropriately so you can pipe to it or from it just like you would uh, if you had a command installed locally or globally or whatever else. It's it's very useful when you have some random YouTuber who makes weird little things and you want to check them out, but you don't want to commit to them. Uh, you can just do npx space something like combo list generator and then pass it arguments like you would anything else. This is a tool I put together in just a few minutes in order to generate fake combo list data. Combo lists are uh, stuff that, that criminals distribute on the dark web with credentials and passwords. Uh, I don't want to use real data because that might have real people's usernames and passwords. So I made something that just generated something fake. Uh, and actually I use NPX to use it because I don't really want to install it on the places that I'm using it anyway. Um, so you can use NPX to just experiment with something and run away from it. I also use NPX frequently when trying to figure out uh, which tool I want to commit to. I was recently using it to see what JSON formatter was going to be most appropriate for me to use in the command line. And because it respects input and output just the way I want to use it, I can just run through a half dozen or a dozen commands that I find on NPM, find out which one I want, and then install that uh, globally so that I have that accessible at all times. Now, why would I still want to install something globally? NPX, uh, if it can't find what it needs, It'll download dependencies and then install them, but it will only cache the tarballs of those dependencies. So every time you need to run a command, it'll still actually need to go through the installation, at least as far as I understand it. And that uh, adds significant time and overhead to the execution of, of a command line tool. And when you're trying to run very, very fast commands and, and have uh, multiple uh, of them in a, a long string of, of piped input and output, uh, it's 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 a significant overhead. Um, it's an issue up on the repository. I, I think they're interested in working through it. Uh, they haven't quite got there yet. Uh, so it, it's not quite a replacement for running anything Node or NPM related, but it, it's a great tool to use. It gets people booted up into projects much more quickly. So that's NPX in a nutshell. Um, so just a reminder, I am gonna be in Germany in uh, about nine days. 
Uh, I don't know German. Uh, I have never been to Germany before. If you are in the Germany area from the 17th to the 22nd, then uh, I would love to, to meet up with you uh, and you can help me around. So thank you very much. Uh, I do these things weekly. So if you like learning about something node related, then uh, subscribe, hit the little notification bell thingy uh, and you'll get notified when these things pop up. And uh, thanks for coming. I'll talk to you later. Can you hear that? That is my washing machine uh, just shaking the house down. I've got to fix that. Man, I'm going bald. Ugh, that sucks.